The SRTR provides reports to the public on its website, www.srtr.org. These reports cover outcomes on donor organ yield activity at organ procurement organizations and outcomes on waitlist and post-transplant activities at transplant programs in the United States for a patient looking for a program to list with or a currently listed candidate looking for more options, transplant program outcomes are of greatest concern to you. This instructional video will show a candidate how to read the data on their listed center to understand their program's performance, and it will show a potential candidate or their family members how to understand the data and make an educated assessment. Whether you are a patient who is currently on a list at a program, or you are looking for a program at which to list, you would first start your search for information on the SRTR homepage, www.srtr.org. At the top, next to our SRTR logo, you will see a drop-down. Here, you would select your organ of choice, for instance, kidney. You can type in the program's name, if you know it, then click the blue search button, and the website will take you to the search results page. Or you can type in the zip code, if you know it, and the website will take you to the results page. On the search results page, you will see your selected program, and you will see certain areas of interest ranked by the five-tier assessment. Five-tier is the term used for the one-to-five bar rating displayed on these pages we're about to review. Please note that with the bar icons representing the tiers, five bars is toward better and one is toward worse. The five-tier system is based on detailed biostatistical analysis. SRTR developed these assessments using data that has been reported in public records for decades, accepted by the transplant community and used by U.S. government regulatory bodies for oversight. The five-tier system was tested and vetted by patient groups, surgeons, and transplant administrators, and with their input, the system was perfected over a two-year period prior to launch. Here you can see that after selecting Mayo, the system brought up the Mayo programs in the search results. But if you want to see every program in the U.S. that does the transplant type you're looking for, then on the home page, leave the Search by Postal Code or Program Name field blank. Then click on the blue search button, and the website will bring you to the results page. This time, because a program was not specified, the search page brought up every kidney program in the U.S. Note that at the top of this page, there's a filter option to narrow your search results. You can type in the name of the program here as well, or you can search by a distance within a zip code. You can filter your results by state, and you can specify an adult or pediatric program. This results page displays all the results for your specified criteria. The default sort order for kidney, liver, and heart is by the column, getting a deceased donor transplant faster. For lung, it will be sorted by one-year survival. For all organs but kidney, there will be another column, survival on the waitlist. You will only see a living donor transplants column for liver and kidney. If you click on any of the titles in the header bar here, the list will resort highest to lowest based on the selected column's data. The distance will only show a number if you have entered a mileage value in the location filter. In this section, we will explain what the titles of the columns mean. The one-year survival result is based on graft survival, or how well the organ does after surgery. Retransplants are included in this metric. The graft survival measure is considered very important to patients because even if an organ fails, a recipient can receive another transplant. However, getting a retransplant is still a negative effect on the patient's overall quality of life. Deaths are considered graft failures, so this statistic captures all negative events that can occur at a program. Getting a deceased donor faster is also known as transplant rate and shows how quickly a center transplants candidates once they have been listed. So it is considered to be the most important metric of all the metrics listed here since the faster a candidate gets a transplant, the better chances for long-term survival. This metric includes adult candidates only. 
If you are looking at kidney or liver results, you will see the living donor transplants in a year column. This column shows that the center has experience with living donors and gives you a general idea of a program's level of experience by the number or volume of the living donor transplants done. Likewise, the deceased donor column gives a general idea of the program's level of experience by the number or volume of the transplants done. You can find more detailed explanations as to the reasons these metrics are included by clicking on this link. In this section, we will explain how to learn more about the five-tier system. At the top of the search results is a button labeled Show National Rates. Clicking this button opens a table that provides context for each of the five-tier assessments, allowing users to better interpret what to expect at a Tier 1 program versus a Tier 5 program. A blue icon appears above one of the search results columns, indicating which of the three assessments has the greatest overall impact on a patient's chance of survival after registration on the waiting list. For kidney, liver, and heart programs, the icon appears above the Getting a Transplant Faster column. For lung programs, the icon appears above the One Year Lung Survival column. You can also find the detailed information on the development of the five-tier system by selecting Five-Tier Outcome Assessment from the About the Data dropdown in the main navigation bar. In this section, we will explain how to compare several programs side by side. The search results list with sort function can help you narrow down multiple centers to a few that you would like to look at in more detail. Perhaps transplant rate is the most important to you because you want to go to a program where you can get your transplant faster. You would compare programs by the Getting a Transplant Faster column. The top programs in your sort criteria come to the top and you can then take a look at those you want side by side. If you want to look at two or more centers in detail, Right-click on the View Summary Data link, then select Open Link in a new tab. You continue to do this for every center that you would like to compare side-by-side. Side. A tab will open in the browser bar for each program selected. The page you will see for each program will look like this. If you scroll down, you will see data that is generally of greatest interest to patients. In this section, we will explain what is included on the Program Summary page. Once you select a summary page for a program you are interested in, the first thing you will see is the location map and the contact information. Also, here you will see the program's information from the results page repeated for reference. This infographic included on the page breaks down the statistics for candidates on the waiting list. This represents what happened in a one-year time frame. While this next section breaks down the rates for this program for what happened in a two-year period, In the section below the two-year period, you can see the general amount of time it would take a patient listed at this program to get their transplant once listed. You can change the time range by clicking on the dots here. This Time to Transplant metric includes recipients from living donors who typically get their transplants fast, so you can see here the number of recipients in this statistic that had living donors. And below that, this section breaks down the characteristics of patients transplanted at this program. You can see age here, but you can select other characteristics commonly referenced here in the drop-down. Finally, this section shows the post-transplant outcomes for this program. This is the graft or organ survival rates for patients that were followed for one year. If you want to look at pediatric patients, you can click on this link. If you'd like to see a full report for this program, you would click on the Download PDF button here at the bottom of the page. We hope that this video has helped you become a little more familiar with how you can use our website to search for or compare programs. For more specific information on how to use these tools and resources, contact an SRTR representative at srtr at srtr.org.